you know, I coach soccer. That was part of the thing that I that I agreed to do this week that actually put me in a really tough way schedule wise. I haven't been able to go to the gym. I haven't really been able to do anything because I'm waking up at 730 in the morning. Like I did it intentionally because I came off a hard drinking weekend in AC. I'm like, I got to get my act together, get some sunshine, like really like I got to hit this head on and like sweat this shit out, which I've totally have. And that's been beneficial. But then I'm coaching and it's like the same shit every day. in Brooklyn, it's like these fucking nannies that probably make 70 grand a year yeah. to be living in downtown Brooklyn. They don't give a fuck about their kid. They're basically like watching it from a quarter mile away just in case it gets stolen. They can kind of ID the color of the shirt. The man right, right. Right. Like it's out of control, these, these people. So, and not to mention, they walk through the practice with the stroller. Oh, that's like like right through as we're running things as like kids are like ducking out of the way they're getting hit like the balls are going off the fucking wheels and shit like that and these like you know these women are just like no clue no care in the world all their fucking kids that they don't give a shit about are walking into the goddamn practice they're picking up cones they're like rolling balls some two-year-old got hit in the head (laughs) by another by like a three-year-old's kick and i'm like what the fuck i snapped on some nanny today i was like yeah i go get your fucking act together grab your kids stop guy like because this is what pissed me off so she kept the kid kept walking away she was not paying attention because she was either in her phone or talking to somebody else and then the kid would just like walk into the practice and she would slowly lumber over there like a fucking hippopotamus and then like lightly kind of guide their hand like not even grab the kid just kind of lightly try to turn them as they're stealing cones and soccer balls right. and throwing shit that we just diligently set up that these yeah. three-year-olds with the least amount of athletic ability that you've ever seen <laughs> took nine minutes trying to fucking wake up cones with their stupid toes yeah so and, and you know i i just like snapped i was like Get your kid. You're not a border collie. You don't just kind of guide them. Right. Grab the little fucking shit and take her off. And she's like, oh, you know, whatever. And like, then did it again. And finally, I lit the ball that the kid chased into the thing, a little ball. I punted it. No, like, you yeah, didn't. 50 yards away. Like, like Irish football punt. No fucking hold back across the park. And I go, go get it. I go, go fucking get this. Yeah, this yeah. is out of control. And then I kicked another babysitter uh, in the back with a soccer ball. No. <laughs> yeah, as she was crossing. It happens relentlessly, dude. I'm not talking once. Right. I'm talking like 10 times throughout like a three hour period. These people blindly just moseying through. It's like if I, if I or anybody else did that when I was a kid, even in like like little league softball shit, like what you play, like they would Don't absolutely. <laughs> I had to take a shot, and you really gave me nothing, even though it was funny. I was, Dana I was also too busy. felt too much empathy to yeah, laugh. Yeah, I was too busy being on your side about well, the soccer thing, I have and to now, reject you before now you reject I, me. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, I, I, like, if we did that as kids. We would be screamed at. I got thrown. Like, I remember being eight years old, and one of my neighbors was playing Little League in our, like, in Fort Montgomery in the, uh, I forget what this fucking park was called, but it was right across from the pizza place. And it was this really small, nice nook. It's actually right after you go into the circle, the Bear Mountain Circle thing to get to the bridge or the park or for, or West Point. Sure. So it's right inside of that, and it's this nice little park, Brooks Park, I think. And we're, I'm walking across, and I, like, saw my, uh, <laughs> saw my neighbor and I was with his brother and we were like hey there one ball because he didn't have a retrieved testicle like he had one nut and <laughs> him and his teammates started throwing hard balls at us wait hold on Lots to, lot to unpack. Lots to unpack. First off, <laughs> you gave me like the geo coordinates of a thing that's not relevant nope. to the story, and then so now that I don't need to have that in my brain anymore, <laughs> you, you, you uh, the man had one. Did he have a testicle removed, or he uh, still had two testicles, really, but one uh, just was up high? I think it's still up high, but I don't know. I really don't know. It's just something that we knew okay. and we used against him. So you said we one ball, him. but his teammates took that as an assault. And well, then, he started throwing, and then he was like scream throwing and they were like whoa these kids must have done something terrible so they throwing started hard baseball yeah starting hard you. hard baseballs at <laughs> us for sure and we had to literally run for cover in the woods and it's all because we crossed the field maybe the insult had something to do with it but right more or less, yeah it was because we nannied our way through their fucking yeah. field and game that's when you want to make your irish goodbye